Hi everyone, my name is Ray Bernardi. I'm a pre and post sales technical support expert from RCAD Software. I'm here today to show you a little bit about RCAD Observer, one of the elements of our RCAD Rational Power Pack. The RCAD Rational Power Pack extends the feature set of Rational Team Concert and Rational Developer for Power by adding multiple functions that greatly improve the developer experience. Today, we'll look at Observer and we'll see how it can summarize your application's architecture and rules with a set of easy-to-use graphical tools. With Observer, developers can sift through a vast quantity of information easily and understand applications in seconds, not weeks. RCAD Observer plugs seamlessly into Rational Team Concert and Rational Developer for Power. It gives you access to RCAD's open repository and all of the cross-reference information that's contained within. Here, I've opened up QDDS Source, and I'm looking for a file to examine. If I do a right-click on a file, here's RCAD Observer. I'm going to ask for utilization of this file throughout the system. This tab is showing me the physical, a Java program, and a Visual Basic program that use the physical. This is an example of cross-platform cross-reference. When I click on the logical file, you'll see the native programs that are using that logical. If I right-click on any one of these programs, I can get further information, like calling chains, for instance. Here's an ascending and descending calling chain, and if I expand this, you can go ahead and see how that program gets called, what that program calls. This is a nice example of object-level cross-reference information. Of course, RCAD can take things further. If I do a right-click on another file, I'll use RCAD Observer to look at its fields. This tab is now showing me all of the fields that make up that file. When I click on one of the fields, I can see the DDS that defines that field within the file. If I right-click on the field, I can gain further information. In this case, what I'll do is I'll find out where that field gets used in the system. It's used in these logicals, these physicals, and these programs. When I click on one of the programs and ask for field detail, I can now see all the lines of code within that program that use that field. This is an example of code line level cross-reference. So far we've dealt with OPM objects. Of course, RCAD can deal with ILE as well. Let's take a look at that. I'll expand QRPG source, scroll down a little bit, and we'll go ahead and find a program to use. If I do a right click on this program, again using RCAD Observer, I'll ask for its use. What I see now are all the modules and the service program that make up this program. If I right click on the service program, again I can do further analysis. Let's see what procedures get used within that service program. If I click on one of these procedures I can learn more about it. For instance, where its source comes from, where it gets executed from, if I right-click on the procedure, I can see everywhere it's used in the system by going to Procedures and Calling Chain. So what you're looking at right now is basically a calling chain at procedure level. I can see everywhere in the system that this procedure gets used. This is just a brief example of some of the value that RCAD adds to Rational Team Concert and Rational Developer for Power. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos. For more information on this product or any of our other products, please visit our website at www.arcadsoftware.com.